Hey guys, one more step into the Mission Impossible rabbit hole. Wanted to see what on this stock valve job, what a difference in valves will make. Okay, so we're going from the completely stock 318 valve with the evaporation ridge to a uh, a stock valve that's had a little work done to it. It's got a back cut on it. That evaporation ridge is gone. And uh, it's had a quickie swirl polish on the outside. As far as the exhaust, this is the valve we have been using. Okay. It's the deep tulip. This one is a little bit more for flat design. Not really a huge amount different, but we'll see if it makes any difference on the flows. A little bit different view of this port. Nothing's been changed since last time you guys have seen it. It's exactly the same, except for the valves. So, let's take a look at the pluses and minuses. Alright guys, this is kind of interesting. Hope you like this. So, did it like the valve with a little bit of work? Well, let's take a look at our pluses and minuses. Plus, 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 plus to 350 thousandths. Minus, minus, minus. Now, let's take a look at how big the pluses are. Okay, this is where we're coming from. Take a look all the way down low. Big, big, big jump. Huge jump. 0.15. Huge jump. Big. Almost the same at this point. 300, right? Almost the same at 350. And then we start to lose. How much do we lose? A little bit. 10 plus, right? 2. It also makes it lose it on the short side radius a little bit differently because it radically changed the speeds of the intake port here. This is where we were. Okay. These pluses and minuses are in reference to that. Plus, plus, plus. Now, all of these were taken at 0.6, I believe because DV said we can we could lift it to 0.6 so that's where I'm going to take my measurements from take a look at how much it went up on the roof huge change in how much air flows on the roof but what is really cool is look how close those are right they're off by 10 they're even closer they're only off by 3 which one was faster here? Yep, the center of the cylinder was a bit faster. It's still a little bit faster. Okay, interesting stuff. And uh, how'd we do on our short side radius? It's already fast here. Change the valve. It went up. It's definitely starting to really cook. Faster than I'd like it. Now remember, I've already made that wider. I haven't done much of a layback, though. I may... I have to take a look at DV's and how much he laid his back. Remember, as soon as you start laying it back, what happens to these lower numbers? All, right, all of these start to drop. And we're not that great. I mean, we're only 180 at, at 300 lift. I mean, I would like better than that, but it's a small valve. It's 178. So you've got to get what you can get. And as far as I'm concerned, well, you know what? We'll post that. You guys let me know whether you like the valve that has work done to it or the lifts with the stock valve and the evaporation ridge. Now this one's going to have liquid, uh, a change in liquid. Let's take, a, let's take a look at that. We didn't go over that part yet. Okay, as far as in the bowl... To me, it looks identical. On the chamber, it looks identical. On the cylinder, it does look a little bit different. Let's take a look. OK. 
Okay, it's quite wide and it's chunky. I don't really think that's a lot different than last time we looked at it, to be honest. You can see she's starting to get a nice curve down, which is, which is, which is good. You can actually see the angle that it's coming in from the port, right? It's pretty cool. Okay, let's take a look at our exhaust. All right, this is what we got for our exhaust with the stock tulip and uh, let's see this one here I don't know who manufactured this it's got a different different keeper arrangement and it is a little bit more of a nail head okay and it just has a real deep 45 cut on it but did our port like it? Well, minus noise, where we didn't have noise there before. It actually, we had noise a little bit deeper. Minus, 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 everywhere. Now, some of the minuses weren't big, like 164.4, 164.7. You know, they weren't far off, but minuses are not what I want to see. Okay, yeah, 114.7, 118.5. I'll take that tulip on that one. This is the tulip up close. I don't know if we can focus on that or not. It looks like it's just got a regular straight 45 across it. I don't believe I would use a back cut on a tulip. I really don't like back cuts on the exhaust anyway. Right? But yeah, that valve shape seems to work a little bit better. Now let's take a look and see what it did with our air speeds. That's where we were. These pluses and minuses are in reference to that. Minus equals plus, minus, 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 minus. Ouch. It's surprising it's as good as it is, because the airspeeds really say it takes a beating. You know, it makes you think. You really got to test, you got to test a bunch of stuff in order to get it right. And unfortunately, you know, you do f go down the rabbit hole and, uh, sheesh. I do, I mean, just looking at it, I would say this would be a more efficient shape, right? Now, they're both, they're both stockers, so they should both have the same tulip shape to it, I would think. They look about right. But this one also has a different keeper arrangement. Right? The real stockers have... Two on, on the exhaust, four, um, two on the intake, four on the exhaust. I don't know what these are. I don't know whether they're Chinese. I don't know what they are. They don't say anything on them. I don't even know where I got them from. Oh, they're Eaton. They're Eaton valves, so they're good valves. Okay, I have no idea where I got those from. All right, guys. Let me think for a second and see if we got anything else to talk about. I started working on the chamber, but I realized as I, I'm doing the chamber, it's really difficult to follow DV's cylinder head chunk because it's been milled down so much. You know, literally, it's this entire ridge here, which is probably over a hundred thousands deep, is completely gone on his. And a lot of this pad has been changed. And he did a ton of work in here. He wants to get he wants to get airflow through here to evacuate that that area. Um I mean I can I can see his point. 
but I don't know if he needs to do as much as he did. I think I can show his chunk because he's already had it on his videos. Let's pull that out. Okay, you can see I did change his guide a little bit. I may, I tried a rounded guide and a pointed guide. Unfortunately, I was having some problems with the swirl meter, and uh, that didn't really give me the info that I that I wanted. But you can see the chamber is, you know, take a look at how much work he did in here. I took he took a lot out of that, and I I get it. I get why it's done, but does, do you think it really needs to be that much? I don't know. Unfortunately, that's why, you know, I question everything, and even if it's DV's work, it's just the kind of person I am. And luckily for me, he's really good and, you know, is willing to discuss things like that with me. So, I would want to discuss this with him, and I definitely want to discuss his valve job. I am so tempted to take the valve job he has here and change it for a steeper angle and see what happens. Because remember, if I change if I change it for a steeper angle, I can put a little bit bigger throat in. And uh, that might really work. That might really pick it up. And remember, I got to get all, all my testing done on this <laughs> on this chunk because I can't I can't afford to screw this these up. It was hard enough to get to have Tim, you know, donate me a set of heads. I don't want to do that again. Like the one guy made a comment, you know, bring Uncle Tony up to speed. Obviously, he did a uh, he did a live and didn't have any idea what was going on with the the Mission Impossible thread. Or I should say the Mission Impossible project. But uh, I don't have his contact info, so I can't I can't get in touch with him. If I did, I'd be like, hey, I need a bunch of open chamber stuff. Even if you got them that are cracked, I can cut them up and do some measuring. I'm going to do another video on that because I did a ton of work to this chunk to expose the port on the exhaust. I think that should be a whole video, though, because it's just too cool. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.